Hello, this is Mark Zavatella from Outside Shore Music, home of Mastering MuseScore. In this week's tip, I want to show you uh, one of the exciting new features in MuseScore Studio 4.4. And this is the ability to have hairpins, or actually other types of lines also, that can start and end at places where there's not necessarily an actual note. So let's take a look at a really common example of this and then you can probably extrapolate and find other uses. Let's say that I wanna have this C whole note have a crescendo for two beats and then diminuendo for two more beats. This was always really kind of awkward to do in MuseScore previously, but now it's pretty simple. You can select that measure, you can add the hairpin, you know, you can use a shortcut or the palette, but I am gonna use the palette for this example uh, because it's gonna simplify one of the other steps that's gonna come up. So if I click the crescendo, I get a crescendo that goes for those four beats. I don't want it for all four beats though. I just want it for two. So take a look at this. I'm gonna press shift. And as soon as I press shift, I start seeing these, uh, these bars that show me places where that uh, hairpin can actually snap to. And then all I have to do is press left arrow a few times to get it to snap where I want it to snap after just two beats. So great. Now, how loud do I wanna get? Let's say forte. So I'll click the forte. Now, what do I want to do? I want a diminuendo for two more beats. So I'm just going to click the diminuendo and boom, I get that. And then I could put an end dynamic on it also by clicking the piano. So just clicking the things one at a time uh, will add them for you. And as we're about to hear, it's also going to play back correctly. So there you have it. This idea that by pressing shift, uh, you can then use the arrow keys to change the uh, extent of, of one of these hairpins. You can also drag and it will uh, kind of adjust there, but that's like a less precise way of doing adjustments. I don't normally rec recommend it, but it does work also. So uh, a new feature in MuseScore Studio 4.4 where you can adjust, easily adjust the range of hairpins and other lines.